Okay, guys, so here's our bed. Here are our dowels. Uh, well, these are just kind of like bamboo shish kebabs because I couldn't find dowels. But we get what we get. One goes here, one goes here. It looks like they only use one piece of tape for each side, so uh, I guess this is gonna have to do. I feel like this side has to be a little shorter. Oh no, I just broke it. Maybe if I if I cut it with scissors, that's better. Okay, yeah, that's a little better. So here's the first one. Just tape it just like that. Then the next one on this side. Yeah, it looks good. Now we just have to cut it into shape. I hope I do this right. Woo! Yeah, looks good. I mean, it's a little ugly, but it is what it is. Now we get our string. We just go ahead and, oh, come on, here we go, let's go. As you can tell, Benji kind of unrolled all this, so I had to re-roll it myself. That's why it doesn't look very good. It's also covered in pudding from a, a couple videos ago. It's right here, one right here. Snip, snip. Okay, here we go. I gotta add some tape so the string doesn't, like, you know, slide around. And then I think I'm also gonna go ahead and add some side parts. It stays kind of even. Yeah, there we go. That should do it. Okay, yeah, perfect. Now let's try this bad boy out. Okay guys, so we're outside in my backyard. We got my kite. Uh, let's see if this works. Oh my god, it's actually flying. Woo! It's doing it. It's actually doing it. I'm a genius. Try it again, come on. We can do it. It's actually kind of flying, yeah. Is it doing Yeah, look at it go. It's doing it. Woo! I mean, it's not great at flying, but it kind of works, so I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. If you guys wanna see me make a giant version of this, I'm talking like 10 feet wide, let's try to get this video to 100,000 thumbs up. We did that in the last video, so I guess that means that I have to dye my hair pink now. Well, I guess let's do it. It's so pink. Thank you so much to my girlfriend for helping me dye my hair. What do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty freaking pink. It's definitely very pink. Yeah, I really like it. Toby, are you pink now too? Yeah, I like it so much. I dyed myself pink too. I think it's a good look for me. Well, I'd say so. What do you guys think? Anyway, guys, now I'm a pink boy. Well, let's see how long this lasts for. Okay guys, so I got my fancy camera with my flash. Now this camera already has a diffuser thing on it along with like this credit card uh, thingy that also diffuses light. So I feel like it's gonna be pretty diffused already. Woo! Okay, so here is our subject. He's pretty cute, doesn't he? He is a little bulbasaur. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that right here. And I'm gonna take a photo with a normal flash and we'll see how that turns out. I think it's not turning out too bad. Uh, I took a few test shots, here you go. They do seem a little bit harsh, so let's go ahead and try this bag method. So I guess we just uh, put the bag over our flash like that, and theoretically it'll diffuse it more. Here we go. Oh wow, that's not bad. Oh. That actually looks pretty nice. The colors look a lot more uh, natural and they're not as harsh. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have to definitely say that this one works. Well, I guess I gotta tell Tori that I'm gonna be bringing a plastic bag on our photo shoots from now on. Okay guys, so this is a recycling video, so uh, we're gonna reuse these bottles that we used in a previous hack. Take the caps off, and I guess we're just supposed to, you know, cut the bristles like this. Yeah, one down. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Put these together using a rubber band. There we go. Oh man, this looks so ridiculous. Ugh, now I need something to uh, test it with. How about some of this baby powder? Yeah, that ought to do. Now I'm gonna try and sweep this baby powder up. <coughs> Oh my gosh. I mean, it's not the most effective way to burn stuff, but I guess we could say that this one kinda works. Here's what I usually use to clean my desk. I would definitely recommend a real broom before I recommend one of these, but uh, like I said, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one kinda works. Okay guys, so here's our little piece of wood. Here's our washers. We make two small piles, I guess. One kind of like that. Yeah, that ought to do it. Let me go ahead and screw them in. Get our razor blade. Just kind of put it in there, just like that. There we go. It's all tightened down. Then we get our water bottle, and then we just kind of start cutting it. Maybe a different water bottle. This one's a lot harder than I thought. Maybe I have to start it off like this. Here we go. Come on. 
I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I'm gonna try with another water bottle maybe. So I got the Sprite bottle just like how they had in the video. Gonna cut the top off maybe. Oh man, this is a lot harder than I thought. Maybe that'll work? Maybe I have to lift it up more. Okay, now let's try this. Oh, oh, I think we're getting something. Need a little bit more. I can't get this to work. Oh, did I do it? Oh, I think I'm actually doing it. It took a couple tries, but uh, here we go. Oh, I accidentally clipped it. I mean, I wouldn't say that this rope is really that strong. It might if I did it, if it was like even. Ah. Okay, maybe try it with this one. Oh. Yep, I think I'm getting it. I feel like I'm gonna cut my finger off though. Very dangerous if you do this. I recommend being very careful. So here's our rope. I could only get it in small pieces. I'm sure if I had some practice, I could probably make some really cool stuff out of this. But uh, I guess we're gonna say this one kinda works. It's not as easy as I make it look, though. I will tell you that. Oh, okay, guys, so here's our bottle. Just go ahead and cut that really quick. Yeah, it looks good, not bad. Then we go ahead and get a wood burner or a soldering iron, whichever you want to call it. Oh man, it's smoking. Then we just poke some holes in it, like that apparently. Did I do that right? I think I might have poked too many holes in it, but it's fine. Then we get our hot glue gun. Here we go. And then apparently we're just supposed to hot glue these together. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that though. Uh, maybe like that? Yeah, I'll try that. Ah! Okay, here we go. Uh oh, it's so hot it's actually melting the bottle. I really gotta get a glue gun that's not that strong. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, then we get our sponge, which ironically is yellow too. I chose an awful background for this. I don't, I'm not really digging the yellow background at all. It like blends in with it. You can't even see it. Okay, so I'll, I think I'm supposed to do it on this side. And there we go. We just have to fully glue it on and make sure it sticks. Oh man. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and we'll try this bad boy out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this bad boy up with soap. Yeah, that ought to do it. it seems to be holding it okay. Here we go. It doesn't seem to be dispensing any soap. Maybe it just takes a second. Oh, something's finally coming out. There we go. Wow, okay. I guess it's working. Yeah, it looks like there's some soap coming out. Oh wait, no, that's just where it's leaking out of the bottle part. Well guys, uh, I mean, I guess we're gonna have to say this one kinda works, but I, I wouldn't really recommend it. I would just recommend getting one of these things if you don't like actually touching the, the, the sponge. I'm not sure what this hack really does. Is someone really too lazy to just do this? I don't know. It works, but I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> So instead of using my phone camera, I'm gonna go ahead and use my, uh, you know, nice fancy camera. Here are our pantyhose. I'm pretty sure that's what these are called, right? So I guess we just cut a little bit off like that. And then we gotta stretch it over the lens. Just like that. Oh, I'm gonna use this rubber band to make sure that it stays like properly stretched out. There we go. Okay, and we got our little model right here. Here's our Bulbasaur. Yeah, it doesn't even look like it wants to focus right now. I'm gonna have to manually focus it. It doesn't look like anything's really changed with it besides it's more foggy. So here's our first photo with the sepia filter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then we compare and contrast. And here's without the sepia filter. Okay, so let's see. I mean, it kind of adds a little bit of a sepia look, but uh, I'm not really digging it. I would say just change it in, in camera. Like most cameras have a sepia filter built in, like even phone cameras. So I would say that this one, uh, it kind of works, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Okay, so here's our weird uh, meat tray thing. Let's just go ahead and cut this in half. Yeah, it looks good. Now just get our glue gun. Ooh, got some glue on there. We just outline the outside of it. Yeah, it looks good. Now we're just gonna slap these bad boys together and boom. Okay, now we have ourselves a perfect little meat tray uh, a pocket pencil holder thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Ah! The glue's still a little hot, so I'm gonna wait for this to cool down and then we'll put it on my wall. So here's a nice blank part of my wall that uh, I think it would, uh, you know, fit perfectly in. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these thumbtacks in it. Uh, that way it, you know, can stick to the wall. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right there. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Can go ahead and put some fun uh, pens in there, some pencils. Yeah, not bad. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Oh my gosh, I just love these chips. Oh wait, I need to get rid of the product placement. Uh, yeah, that ought to do it. 
Yeah, I just love these generic chips. Oh man, there's so many crumbs in here. Oh, I just spilled all the crumbs. No! Well, it's time to test this bad boy out. So first we gotta get our water bottle. Cut that in half, put that right here. I feel like uh, the water bottle is supposed to be a little bigger, um, so I think I might have messed up on that. Nothing a little bit of duct tape won't fix. Am I right, guys? I probably should have done this before I did the whole spilling the chips bit. That way I would have had a clean workspace. Uh-oh. Yeah, that'll do. Just take that cap off, then we get a sock, just like that. I think this is to like catch everything or something. I don't really know. Anyway, let's see if we can vacuum up these chips. Here we go. Oh my gosh, there was like smoke coming out of my dryer. It did work though, but that's very scary. Dude, I think they're trying to kill us. Why was there smoke coming out of my dryer? Okay, I'll do it one more time just to show you guys. Oh my god, oh my god, yeah, there's smoke coming, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's so scary. Dude. Well, yeah, that's a good way to break your stuff. I'm gonna have to say that this one works, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, thumbs down for me. Okay, so here's another bottle we're cutting up. Cool, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then we get our sock, just kinda put it over it, just like that. Oh, get back here, come on, just. Uh, I think I might need a better bottle. I think this one ought to do. Okay, let's try it with this. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. Now we're gonna put this over the bottle, just like that. Oh, that definitely looks like it worked a lot better. Now we gotta mix up our bubble solution. Just gonna squirt some of that in there. A little bit of water. Mix it up. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now we just go ahead and put this in. Okay, let's see if this works. You ready? One, two, and... Whoa, it's working! Nice! Well guys, I guess we're gonna say this one works! Oh, okay guys, so here is a can of generic brand energy drink. Here's our water bottle. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the top off of that. A lot of that today. There's a lot of that. Then we're gonna go ahead and put this on the monster. Now I don't have a heat gun, but I do have a blowtorch, and I guess that's gonna be good enough. There's no way that this could end uh, badly. I really hope it doesn't. Please don't end badly. I feel like it needs to go on more. More like that, maybe? Okay, yeah, I definitely think that's a little bit better of a fit. So we're gonna try that. So here we go. Before I start this, guys, I just wanna say, uh, don't play with fire. I'm doing this so that you don't have to. This is very not smart. I don't recommend it. This is unsafe, don't do it. Anyway, you've been warned. <laughs> okay, yeah, it looks like I got that sealed up. Not bad, it looks a little bit funky. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, I can't believe I actually sealed that. Is it gonna open and fizz? Oh, nope, it's turning. I feel like it's not 100% tight, but wow, okay. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see how well this sealed up. You guys ready for this? And, oh no, my monster, I dropped it. What am I gonna do? Well, it's a good thing that it has a seal on it. Wow, it looks like it actually sealed. Oh, nope, a little bit uh, came out. But that's only in this one part. It's a little bit wet right here. But in the rest of it, it seems like it sealed pretty good. Oh, nope, it's, it's coming undone now. It is leaking. I might have done it incorrectly, but I feel like I didn't. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, I guess we're gonna say that this one didn't work. It's a fun concept though. I bet if you put some super glue and like uh, sealed it, it would, it would work perfect. Maybe, I don't know. Okay guys, so here are our bottles. I'm gonna go ahead and take this wood burner and start poking holes. Oh my gosh, that goes through like butter. I feel like it should be a little bit more neat with the holes, but you know it's fine. I'm sure everything will be just fine. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh my God, that is making a lot of plastic smoke. I bet this is awful to breathe. There we go, one down. Now for the other one. 
Okay, yeah, that should be enough holes. And man, this thing is smoking. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, now we gotta go ahead and cut the tops off, or I guess the bottoms in this case. Oh man, come on. There we go, don't need that. That looks good. Aha, uh -huh. and we've done it. Get rid of that. Now apparently I need a paper clip. Uh, let me go look for one. I couldn't find paper clips, but I do have these safety pins and I guess I'll have to do. There we go, just like that. And then this one. Okay, fill these bad boys up with ice. So here's our fan. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to here. There we go. Now this one. Aha, uh -huh. looks good. Now we fill these bad boys up with ice. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So I got my thermometer here. Let's see how cold it is. So that's blowing out about 75 degrees. Now we're gonna take these off and see if it's warmer than that. I should have probably done the opposite first. I should have probably, uh, you know, done it without these on there and then tried it with them on there. But you know, it's whatever. We got our fan on full blast. Here we go. Wow, it's actually a little bit colder now. 74 degrees. Oh, 75. So it's spitting up about the same temperature. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Oh, okay guys, so here are our bottles. So I guess the first thing we gotta do is uh, flatten them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. Oh yeah, I can already tell that this is gonna be a super comfortable uh, sandal. It's gonna be really good. Just trust me on this one. Ew, it's so sticky. There we go. Yeah, okay, next one. Dude, I don't know what I would do if I saw someone walking down the street in these. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Okay, now it's time to try these bad boys on. Okay, here we go. I actually got some cool socks on too because we're gonna be doing everyone's favorite part of the video where we regret the thumbnail, woo! Man, I already messed up the backdrop though, so this kind of sucks. Okay, so here we go. Oh, no, I ripped it, no. Okay, maybe I'll, I won't rip this one. It's a little better, I guess. Okay, I need tape. I guess we could say that this one doesn't work because uh, it ripped almost right away. But here we go. Yeah, just take that back on. Yeah, okay, let's try that. I feel like this sock needs to be a different color because it just blends in with the blue. Oh my gosh. Okay, I went ahead and changed my socks. These are my pizza socks. I think they're pretty good. Ah! How are we feeling about this? Yeah, uh, maybe something like this. Man, this looks like a mess. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Love some of this fight right down there. If you guys wanna watch me do even more fun life hacks and crafts, I have a whole playlist that came me doing them right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want this shirt, some stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here. Okay guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Okay, bye! Ah!